including Emma and Sliding Doors. This is her first Academy Award. Act two, cue applause and tears of joy. It's Gwyneth Paltrow at the 1999 Academy Awards winning Best Actress for Shakespeare in Love. I would like to thank Harvey Weinstein and everybody at Miramax Films for their undying support of me. Paltrow now claims in the mid-90s Harvey Weinstein harassed her as well. But this night it's all smiles as Weinstein's films collect an armful of Oscars. And the Oscar goes to Shakespeare in Love. Shakespeare in Love wins Best Picture, and its exuberant producers thank the Academy. For me, this was a great experience, a passion for five years. Cue the orchestra. Okay. Harvey, it seemed like, could get an Oscar when he wanted it. And he would prove it again and again and again. So what does a man like Weinstein do after he's conquered Hollywood? Conquer Washington, of course. I want to say a special word of thanks to these three extraordinary guys who are up here with us, Jan Winner and John Sykes and Harvey Weinstein, the three divas who have done such an extraordinary job and I want Weinstein began bankrolling Democratic campaigns. At Shakespeare in Love's premiere, that's Hillary Clinton by his side. But the bad behavior allegedly continues. If you even so much think of touching me, you're gonna find yourself limping at your mother's womb. I'll take my chances. Yeah. The New York Times reports Angelina Jolie alleges Weinstein made unwanted advances in a hotel room during the release of the film Playing by Heart. Look, pal, and I mean this affectionately, right? Scram. Jolie says she rejected the advances and chose never to work with Weinstein again. But now, according to New Yorker magazine contributor Ronan Farrow, the story turns from sleazy to scary. What you outline in your article, though, goes much further. This is rape. Three allegations of rape, and in total, 13 women who talked to me. And, you know, there are assaults in there. And over and over again, there's activity that is highly criminal. Now, Harvey Weinstein gave us a statement saying that all of these interactions were consensual and that there was never any retribution. But the women in this tell a very different story. My name is B. B Monkey. Actress and director Asiya Argento appeared in the 1999 film B Monkey. Harvey Weinstein was co-executive producer. She was told that there was a Miramax party and escorted there by a Weinstein producer. Argento told Farrow that when she found herself alone with Weinstein, he assaulted her. And she recounted how he emerged in a bathrobe, asked for a massage, and then pulled up her skirt and forcibly performed oral sex on her, as she said no over and over again. Argento reportedly says Weinstein continued to pursue her afterward. Called her repeatedly, offered her gifts, which she refused initially, but over the years she did yield to some of those advances, and there were subsequent consensual sexual encounters. Argento never went to the police. She did, however, write about that scene and put it in a movie that she directed and starred in. That's right. A heavy set, powerful film producer makes a pass at her. I'm uh, just really tired, and you know what would be great? It's if you'd give me a massage, you know, just a little massage to make me just relax. She said the biggest difference between reality and this film was in the movie, her character ran. Come on, baby. Look, just give me. Transition wipe. We turn now to 2005. Harvey Weinstein leaves Miramax and launches the Weinstein Company. But the old magic seems to be missing. There's a series of films that seems no one wants to see. I left the coffee pot on again, didn't I? The Harvey movies are feast or famine. You know, Harvey is going for Oscar credibility and he's trying these big things and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. But it's not all bad. In 2007, Weinstein marries Georgina Chapman, a former model and actress who was launching a new fashion line. 
Weinstein is now in his mid-50s, rich and famous, with a young, beautiful wife. But his accusers say, still not satisfied. He was really flattering. He seemed surprised by how well-read I was. Um, those kind of compliments, which at the time made me feel great. Los Angeles TV anchor Lauren Savan says she met Weinstein in New York in 2007, the same year he released Denzel Washington's movie, The Great Debaters. It's a feel-good, not a feel-good movie, it's a feel-great movie. Savan says Weinstein was charming, until she says he cornered her alone in the basement of a restaurant. And that's when he exposed himself. She says he pleasured himself. I just was stunned the whole time, like in complete shock. I could not believe what I was watching. But as soon as he was done, I, I said, can I go now? Are we done? I just wanted to get out of there. 2008, another year, another accusation. This time, the aspiring actress is Louisette Geis. Oh, no, no, no. I take one bite of that, I'll come flying out of this dress. A business meeting in a hotel room, a bathrobe, and Geis says a lewd proposition. A three-picture deal if she would watch Weinstein perform a sex act in a hot tub. I said, this is disgusting and I've got to go. And like I said, he, he came very close to me and was tr kind of trying to kiss me and I just pushed him away and ran to the door. And when I got to the door, luckily, it opened. And I walked out. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.